I'm drawn to people who live by their own rules. You know what I'm saying? Game changers. And that's what brings me to the West Side today. I'm here to meet a young woman who's taken that traditional violin and flipped it upside down and given it a fresh new sound. Who put the violin in your hands? I'm from Nebraska and I went to school on a farm actually, a Montessori school on a farm, and they had a violin program there. Word is she had a violin in her hand before her fourth birthday, and by her sophomore year in college, she abandoned her dreams of being a doctor and went all in on the music. Her sound and energy are right on time. Let's be honest, if she's middle America, I want to go. And so then I did the classical thing. I came here, I studied at the new school, and, and I did a lot of classical stuff, and I did like Carnegie and, you know, all the Lincoln Center, all these halls and everything. And then I started to experience um, more the hip hop and improv side. And that was like a whole nother, like a whole nother world. The new album she's working on is a collection of trap symphonies. Her single, Elevate Me, premiered on Billboard. Azima is part of a group of artists that continue to push barriers and write a different narrative, like a Misty Copeland or Issa Rae. In many cases, it's not about ability, it's about access. I was just in Patterson, for instance, New Jersey. I worked with their string program, which is all black and Latino kids. And I came in, I performed like some classical stuff, and then I, I was like, hey guys, my producer sent me some beats. You want to help me jam on these? And they're all like playing the violin. They're like, wait, jam on some beats? And I turned it on, we had speakers, and it was amazing. A lot of the buzz recently around her is off the cover she does of some of your favorite hip hop songs. This one, a future's mask off, went viral. <laughs> <laughs> We're meeting here because she's got work to do. She teaches a music program at the school across the street. I helped them build a violin program, and, and it's great. We have a group class, we have an ensemble, and they really like it. That's the best part, is that, is that it's enjoyable, and I have a relationship with these kids. At one point, someone told Azima that people that look like her can't play violin. Now she plays with people like Beyonce, teaches the youth, and lives with authenticity. Growing up in Nebraska, I didn't encounter another black violinist. It sounds crazy, but I didn't know, I never saw a violinist who looked like me. I think if you could have great players pushing, pushing the the idea of the violin as kind of this archaic, outdated instrument and making it fresh and modern and making it where people of all races, all backgrounds can like vibe with it, I think that's really cool. And that's like, that's, I love doing that. Reporting on the Upper West Side, I'm Zachary Keish, Fox 5 News.